Hello. Hey, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, Rich. How are you? Uh, I'm all right. What's going on? Uh, not much, Rich. Uh, this is Paul Turner. I know who it is. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, just regarding the situation that happened, uh, probably heard about this past Saturday. Uh, this is getting uh ridiculous or whatnot. Uh, I am in training still, and I'm trying to follow the orders that they <laughs> given to me. And uh, by by them two, uh, be uh, uh, MJ and uh, and uh, impression. All they had me do, they told me to clean the diverters uh, and do the cleaning part. And I cleaned all mine with the degreaser. I get all the way down to the end. I'm thinking I'm done and finished. Next thing I know, he come back with an attitude talking about I did a uh, a filthy, horrible job, and to the point where he was cussing and going off. I know. I figured instead of a train, he could at least came to me earlier before I wait, at least by the third or fourth. He never did check on me. Fast forward to all that. I went to go check his diverters. His side, his stuff had the exact same thing. And it's just like uh, in the midst of all this heated conversation, got to the point where uh, it's a heated conversation, this and that. Got to the point where uh, I even went and got Scott uh, that worked a day shift. And he went and checked both our sides and said both of them. Uh, one, one better than the other, but the main thing he was talking about, complaining about uh, MJ was, was about the filth or the little fog or the little mist that be on top of the, uh, once you get that from the greaser. And then, uh, Scott said that's common. But this guy here, he was said that uh, in the midst of the conversation that he's been trying to, he's he trying to get me fired. That's why he constantly going to somebody. He's, he's, now, Paul, he's not trying to get you fired, all right? And secondly, you don't involve somebody that you don't want to conversation though but okay I'll let you know and I will we will talk Wednesday night I just didn't know what to do from the situation that he was bringing up so I probably I'm trying to make nobody upset it was just I was irritated so I'll see you Wednesday okay uh Jerry Long, this is a, is a message of conversation that I had between uh, me and Rich on Monday about the incident that happened between me uh, and MJ. Uh, as stated in the letter, before this stuff had been going on since the last week, uh, that Saturday uh, in November, to the point where he was upset about the Magnum Link is in the letter. Fast forward to the third week, uh, which was this past Saturday, where he all said about this, and he even said that he was trying to get me fired. But as you can see, I had no idea what to do. Uh, you see, Rich was, he was upset because I involved somebody uh, on the day crew uh, from the situation that happened. Why would it be upset about some wrongdoing that's going on or something going on? I, have, I had no idea what to do. That's the reason why I was talking to him. And you can see his hostility and his language uh, involved. I'm new. I had no idea what to do. I should have came to you earlier. Uh, you just understand, Jerry, I, I'm in a position where I'm allowed to be homeless. I actually gave up uh, another job where I was about to be there a whole year. I wasn't just working at FedEx. I had another full-time job that I was at and came here for that. Uh, and like I said, he was trying to get me fired. As, as you see, I am fired now. Uh, that's just unfair. I mean, what am I fired for? For, for defending myself? I did the right thing. I told... Uh, Rich about the situation from the get go. Rich stated that I was right and not uh, disturbing him about the magnet because he knew what he's doing, and he don't disturb nobody. Uh, Asking, trying to find out what's going on. Uh, to fast forward to the last day, where the, uh, me being provoked. Uh, I mean, Rich stated tonight, why didn't I? Uh, why would MJ be trying to get fired, knowing he had to take over the shift? My thing is, why would MJ will be constantly pursuing me in this effort? to aggravate me and provoke me uh, 
in a situation like this, how come that was never pre prevented? It wasn't like I wasn't doing the job or couldn't do the job. The job basically involves covering the sword. You cover the sword, you got to uh, divert a fault or uh, a line jam or something like that, and you and you go clear the jam. I was doing that properly I, as far as the times I had to get to do it. I was uh, in different areas. But you eliminate the, uh, the provoking and me being provoked and eliminate the process of a supervisor and uh, not saying nothing to him to be stopped for him to provoke me. Uh, just I don't know a lot more to probably get my job back, but it's just two sides of the story. You could just tell the coin if this would have been flipped the other way or the situation would have been changed as far as him uh preventing mj to constantly pursue this avenue of provoking me uh i'm a human being i did what i thought was right and i did what was right by telling my supervisor uh which was rich and then as you can see i was on on verge of talking to somebody else on days but the main reason why i didn't call you uh from that monday or the first part was because i was giving rich the, ben finna, the benefit of the doubt that they he would handle it correctly evidently the correct way to handle this was to get me was to fire me as if I was a problem, uh, but the problem wasn't me. It's that he he was allowing me to be provoked. Uh, there's no need for nobody to keep uh, for MJ to be cussing at me like that or uh, coming at me with situations that uh, was it just wasn't fair. You come to me about uh, me cleaning the the the, uh, the diverters and about the fog and you cussing at me and cussing at me. I was being provoked. Why was he, why did uh, Rich allow MJ to keep on provoking me? Why was the provoking never stop? If I wasn't being provoked and I did the right thing, I just should have came to you first. Uh, I'm just highly just like, I don't know what to do. Uh, but that's my side of the story and that's the truth. Uh, I mean, just why was he allowed to carry on uh, with the behavior that he had? Uh, the job, if no, so I ain't get fired uh, due to the job, uh, said I wasn't able to do the job or whatnot. Uh, I mean, I just don't know what to do, Jerry. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas, uh, but that's just not my behavior. And I don't know about anybody, but, you know, anybody that's being provoked or, or why would uh, the supervisor... Uh, being rich uh, allow uh, MJ uh, to keep provoking me.